Hey you guys, uh, David here for Living on iPad. I'm just going to give you another quick uh, gaming experience on Call of Duty Mobile. This is playing on a 5th generation iPad uh, base model. So let's get straight into it. We're going to do just a multiplayer game this time. We're not going to do a battle royale. Let's see what we've got. Have we got a free for all? Because that's always good fun. Free for all, boom, let's play that. So this time I think I've worked out how to have audio from the iPad, so that will help me tremendously. I might actually know when people are coming after me now. But I don't think I've got stereo, so mm, awkward. Basically the issue is because I'm recording this onto a Mac, so it makes life a lot more difficult in terms of uh, getting all the different sources working. But I think uh, I might have stereo, we'll see. Let's see how we get on. So we're on cage, free for all mission. Let's see how we can do here. Last time we played a, I think it was a free, uh, no, we played Battle Royale last time and I think I came sixth, which is not too bad. Now this is the uh, fifth generation iPad, so it's a little bit old. Uh, this runs the A9 processor, but this should just give you an idea of how well these things, even with what this gets a Geekbench score of like 500 I think on single core and 1050 uh, for multi-core so it doesn't need a massive amount of power to actually be able to play this sort of thing. Right. I do think there is an advantage to playing on iPad as well because you can actually see what you're doing. Ooh, one for one so far. Let's try and get this uh, score ratio up a little bit. Positive numbers at least. Let's make some holes in people. Ready. These free for alls are pretty manic to be fair. Oh, there we go. But I'm up into first. First place. Mustn't grumble. Ooh. We've got a Molotov. Should we make use? Pop it through the window. Friendly Molotov out. See ya. Reload. Bye. Ooh. I'm only one kill away. I don't know why it lets you watch the replays when you're playing on something like this where you're trying to get as many kills as possible because it's clearly not going to help your ratios. Oh, I do love the hive. So we're now to 14 kills. Target is 20 to win. I know I've got someone killing me from behind, but I reckon I can get some kills here first. Up to 15. Right, 14 to 15, I've got to up my game here. Eighteen to sixteen. We're gonna get this. We're gonna win this one. Boom. Twenty. That's how you win. So yeah, this is my first game of the day, uh, literally just picked this up, had a few minutes that my little boy is quite chilled out, so I just wanted to quickly throw one of these up, 
Uh, we're not going to hang around here. Um, that's the end of this video. I've been David Ian Samuel for Living on iPad. If you want to get gaming on iPad, you don't need to go out and buy the latest iPad Pro. You can do it quite happily with something like this. This is a five minute video. This is a cheap iPad. These were 350 quid when they came out, which was four years ago. You could probably pick one of these up for 200 pounds. Uh, if you want to get into gaming, this is a free game. That's all you need. Um, yeah. Follow us on uh, at Living, uh, Living on iPad for any other stuff that you want to do. If you want to um, do more with your iPad, if you've got an iPad sitting in your cupboard at the moment, you can play some games on it. You can do more with it. If you throw on a Bluetooth keyboard as well, you can be really productive with it. Uh, you can connect a Bluetooth mouse these days as well for anything newer than this. Uh, in fact, the iPad Air 2 will also take that, which is the oldest one that you can do that with. But yeah, there's no reason not to be doing more with your iPad. I've been David for Living on iPad.